Maybe you've come to the analytic video series looking for some of that hardcore statistical information that we can get. Well, I've got something for you. We'll talk about some of those more statistical information functions in this video. Strap yourselves in and enjoy. These are short two minute sessions trying to solve real problems rather than just being a walk through the syntax. In this session, we're gonna look at more ranking functions. Let's do a 10 second recap. We're focusing once again purely on the functions element here. We're not using the partitioning clause or the window clause. We're relying on the sorting clause because we're talking about ranking data. We've covered rank, dense rank, and row number in previous videos. Today we're going to talk about percent rank, cumdis, and entile. So the requirement comes in from your manager. List the distribution of the top 50 movies at about the $1.5 billion mark. And of course, like all managerial requests, they need it ASAP. So here's our raw data. We have some movies here and their gross sales worldwide. And you can see that some of them have been well up into the over the $1 billion mark. The new function we're looking at today is percent rank. Now percent rank returns a value between zero and one. So for ease of readability, we're gonna multiply that by 100. And here's our result. What percent rank tells us is the percentage of rows that are underneath a particular value. So if we look at, for example, Furious 7, we are saying that the $1.5 billion gross sales is greater than 91.8% of all the other rows in the table. Percent rank is the formula is this. It is the ranking of the row minus one divided by the total number of rows minus one. That's why we're saying that Furious 7 was greater than 91.8% of the rows because we're not including the row itself. An alternative is disk, which does include the current row. Its formula is identical except we've removed the two minus ones. So it's the current row divided by the total number of rows. So if we run disk once again, multiplying by 100 to make for readability, we can see for the same data, this time we can see that Furious 7 gets a disk of 92. It includes the row of the Furious 7. It is at the 92% mark greater than 91.8% of the other rows that we got with percent rank. Disk is often used for graphing facilities. If I'm interested around the $1.5 billion mark in terms of sales, I'll often draw a straight line across from the, the plot we have from the Disk values, take a line straight down to the x-axis, and you can see we also get that 92% mark. That's where Disk is often used in plotting algorithms like this. Let's look at our last one, entile. Now, you may not be familiar with that term, but you're probably familiar with terms like quartile, decile, tertile, octile, indicating a various way of chunking up the data. Entile is the generic version of that. So what is a tile? What we're really doing is taking data and breaking it up into evenly spaced chunks. So for a quartile, we would grab our data and pull it into four evenly sized chunks based on the gross sales in this case. So let's look at our query. It's very simple. For a quartile, we do entile four. And there's our result at the right. The first few values there, Independence Day, Spider-Man, Spectre, etc., are all in the bottom 25% of gross sales, so they get quartile one. The very highest 25%, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, etc., they get quartile four. Now you may want the top quartile to be rated as number one. All we have to do is add the desk to our order by it, so we're actually sorting in the highest gross sales now as opposed to the lowest. And as you can see there now, the quartile comes out as the highest grossing films, Harry Potter and etc., are in the top quartile and Independence Day is in the lowest quartile. So let's wrap up on ranking. We saw these three in previous videos. We've now covered QM Disc Percent Rank and Entile. You can run these for yourself by clicking on the link below to get to live SQL. Our next session is we'll look at some of the idiosyncrasies you'll encounter when using analytics. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.